Hey everybody, Brad here with BTPA. Today we are going to cover the Laylee 3 at 1 SGOS switcher, how to set its MIDI channel, and how to just get it basically programmed. Let's go. Okay, so to start, these Laylee 3 at 1 SGOS switchers are great, um, not only on pedal boards, but you can throw them in racks. And the nice thing about what sets them apart from, you know, maybe other rack ABY switchers is that they have MIDI built into them. Um, so you can have this in your rack and you can MIDI program it so that it can switch maybe between wireless A, B, and C, and as well as uh, between output one and two. For instance, uh, you're running like a redundant quad cortex rig. Uh, we did a video showing you how to do this. If you want to check that out, um, the, the, you could throw this in there and it could switch easily between wireless A and wireless B for guitar changes, as well as a fail safe to switch from the main quad cortex to the spare. If something were to go wrong, all MIDI programmable can be done from your foot switch as a player, from a text foot switch, from your playback rack. Um, so yeah, that's what's really great about these, uh, these units. They, they have the ability to be MIDI program changeable between the two outputs and all three inputs that are on the unit. Okay, so let's go over how to set the MIDI channel on the Lely 3 at 1 SGOS. And I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm saying the, the, the brand name correctly, but that's what you get. So you'll unplug the power, and when you power it up, you're gonna have this compress this far left foot switch first. And what's gonna happen is these two foot switches lights are gonna go blink back and forth. So you let go after the channel you want it on. So if you want a channel one, you let go after this blinks once. If you want channel two, it'll go blink, blink, then you let go. And this combination, obviously so on and so forth, this goes up to I think 16 times it says in the manual. So hold this down. We let go. We want this on channel two. Let's go over how to program this thing. And uh, just to be specific, we're only showing how to program this when it's in mode one, which is how it comes default. Okay, so to start, you gotta connect the MIDI device to the Laylee. Um, right now we're using the ES5. We're showing you on the ES5 first, um, just cause it's got a better interface right here to hit the Laylee. Right now we've got the, to connect it. So there's the, the right angle MIDI plug, which will go into the ES5. We've got this really low profile square plug right angle TRS connector. And um, pin four goes to the tip, pin five to the ring, shield to pin two and the sleeve. So you'll connect it into the MIDI port on the Laylee, which is this one with the square on it. And then the MIDI output of whatever MIDI controller you are using because you are sending commands to the Laylee. Just to start, we are only going to show you how to program this on mode one for the lady. There's three different modes. Uh, mode one just is uh, A, B, C switching to between the two outputs. So um, when you hit the foot switch A once, the green light's illuminated, meaning input A, output one. You hit it the second time, that means it's input A, output two. B, the yellow light, they call it yellow, it looks orange to me. Um, you hit it once, it's input B, output one. Uh, input B, output two, and red light meaning input C, output one, blue light meaning input C, output two. So anytime there's a blue light, it means it's output two for whatever switch you're on. So we'll go over to the ES5. We want patch one to be input A, output one. So put that, enter, then you hit enter again to edit the patch. Then you want to go to patch MIDI one. And this one's already programmed, but just to give you guys an idea, channel two is what we signified this, the MIDI channel for this to be. And uh, so it says under the CH, you'll put two, cause that's what this is. And then you scroll over to the PC for the, the program change command and make it one, just because this is the first program change that we're doing. And what you wanna do is send the program change to the Laylee. Uh, nothing will happen, but that's what you wanna do. So it, it knows what you sent to it. So you hit right, right, right. It executes, nothing happens. Well, the red light went off, but whatever. So then we want switch one to be input A, output one. So we just take this switch and hit it and hold it down. 
It'll flash. When it's done flashing, you let go. Now, program change one on switch one of the ES5 corresponds to this. Now we want number two on the ES5 to control input B, output one. So to do that, we're going to edit, hit um, edit, to end, edit the patch, enter there, you go to MIDI one, channel two again, because this is channel two, and then you scroll over to program change two. And that's just because it's the second program change we're making. You'll hit right, 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 and sends the command. Now you're gonna hold this one down because we want input B, output one. Hold it, it'll start flashing, then you let go. So, if we did this right, input one, or switch one on the ES5 should make this illuminate to signify input A, output one. And it does, the green light's on. And now this should be input B, output two. Or I'm sorry, input B, output one for the orange light or yellow light. And it does. So that's great. Now, here's a little bit trickier part. Um, let's say we want to do input A, output two for switch number three on the ES5. We'll go to the ES5. So like, let's say you're switching wireless packs for A and B, but um, you're in a redundant quad cortex rig. Again, we have that video. Uh, you can, you know, and switch to, you want to switch to wireless pack A and, and the, the spare quad cortex. So you hit edit on the patch. You're gonna hit enter, patch MIDI one again. And it's channel two, and this will be program change three because it's the third program change that we are sending to Lely three at one. So again, we want it to be input A, output two, meaning there should be a blue light here. So right now we're just gonna send the command. So you hit right three times to execute it and send it to the three at one, which we do. Now, before you hold anything down, hit this once so that the green light's on. So that way when we hit it again and hold it down, the blue light will be on and it'll save to know that it's output two. So we'll do that. Hold this down, starts flashing. Let go when it's done and you're good. So now just to check one, input A, output one, ES5 switch two will be input B, output one, ES5 switch three makes it blue, meaning input A, output two. Now just for good measure, we're gonna use uh, switch four on the ES5 to say um, input B, output two. So we'll go to switch four, you'll hit edit, enter, Patch MIDI one, channel two, and again, this will be program change four because it's the fourth program. We're just doing this in consecutive numbers. You could do whatever you want, but. So that's what we're doing. We'll send the command, hit right three times, it executes, boom. So again, we'll hit this once so that the orange light's on. Then you're gonna hit it and hold it down to make it blue and flash to, again, be input B, output two. Hold that down, flash in, good stuff, good times, let go even better times it's programmed. So just to do the switches real quick in the ES5, one, good, 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 good. And again, you can do it for, for switch C the same exact way, it doesn't matter. Just this give, should give you an idea. Okay, so we, we're gonna show you how to do this on the Mastermind LT as well. So, um, you're on the screen and you've got the LT, you know, pulled up here for, for what it is. And we don't have it connected via USB right now, otherwise it'll show connected, but just for good measure. Um, you wanna go to, let's see. Okay, so this shows the LT7, which is what we're using the LT. Um, you wanna set up the devices and this, there's some other devices here in the list. Um, you can ignore those for now, but device two, the way three at one, um, earlier you saw that we set it up to MIDI channel two, so we're good there. And, you know, just to set up a device, just for good measure right here, let's just say we did device four, you'd set it to, Lily's not in here, so we just set it to uh, generic, and then PC CC device, and uh, you can name it whatever you want here. So we put Lily three at one and you were good there. Anyways. So the controls, or we set up to Lely three at one right there, and let's go to presets. Right now, we set this up to, 
uh, preset 17, 18, 19, 20. So as we showed you on the ES8, um, we had switch one doing wireless A, meaning input A. We had, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. We had switch one doing input A, output one, switch two doing input B, output two, or output one, input B, output one. Then we had switch three doing input B, input A, output two. Then we had switch four doing input B, output two. And what, what this was is to set up between switching between wireless pack A and wireless pack B and guitar changes and having that be uh, set up in a in in that redundant quad cortex rig meaning you know you can if you're using the main you could easily make those switches and then if you wanted to, if you had for whatever reason switch to your spare unit um, you could still make those wireless pack switches so let's go over how to do that um, we set up the preset we named it wireless a main just to fit that setting but you can name it whatever you want right here in the name section and um Get that out of there. Anyway, so we're sending PC messages to the Lele 3 at 1. And showing this on the ES5, um, PC command 1 was sent to the Lele to signify input A, output 1. I don't know why, and, and I'm sure there's a reason, but I haven't dove into it. The RJM Mastermind sends PCs, it starts at 0. So 0 on the the mastermind lt is actually one on the es5 so that's why this says pc zero anyways you set that up and that's literally all you need to do um, because the lately is programmed already on the as it was on the es5 but again the the same logic holds right so uh it's the same logic holds so you would just send the PC command from the LT to hit the Lele, and then you would hold down whatever switch you want it to be and till it flashes and then let go. So it's literally the same exact thing. Um, and the way I would do this is I would load, I would make the, the file on this, this, the GUI here, load it into the P, uh, the, the mastermind LT, and then I would, program the Laylee to correspond to the foot switches after you press them. So for instance, um, we'll show you how to, we'll show you that. So wireless A set up there, um, wireless B, which is, and again, this could be for whatever, but just to, we'll just, we'll just make it uniform for this video in a out one or yeah, in a out one, then we have, in B out one, which was switched to on the ES5. This will be switched to on the LT. Again, the PC changes are start at zero on here. So it's actually one that we're sending it to there just to match what we've already learned within the Lele. Um, now this will be in A out two, PC command there, you, can, you know, change that, you're golden. And this one will be in out two, in B out two, PC command there, just because we're going sequential. And the other cool thing about this is you can change the LED colors on the LT to match whatever you want. So right now we have a matching the Lely. So we have uh, input A, output one is green to match the Lely. Um, yellow, which the yellow is totally different, but yellow for input B, output one, and then blue, blue. Um, so then you would just go to transfer and you would write the settings to your device and you would call it a day. Now let's show you just if you're programming this from scratch, we'll just show you how to, how to load it on the Lely. So based on what we just did, we loaded it into the mastermind and we left the names the same just because we're using this in something else, but this would be, we wanted it to be input a, um, we wanted this to be input a, I'll put one. We'll hit this to send the program change and then hold this down just like the other way and it'll blink till you let go and it let go. So this will go to B, let's go back to A. Everything works as loaded. Hope that helps. So anyways, that's the, ba the basics of 
programming the Laylee 3 at one um, We hope this helps because they're really great units. And once you get wrap your head around just how they, they operate, uh, they're, they're super simple to be used and integrate within a rack. We hope you like what you see. Stay tuned for some more stuff. It'd be great if you can like the video, drop a comment. If you have any questions, hit that subscribe button would be sweet. See ya.